Welcome back to Popcom. It's your boy Mike. And sorry guys that I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now. I had to take some time for my family, my job. It's just been crazy busy, but I'm back and I'm back with the WW. I want to call it WWF, not even WWE. This brings me back to really good time, nostalgic memories of WWF. I mean, back then wrestling, I know it's fake, but back then wrestling was just way better than what it is now i believe in my own personal opinion and <clears throat> i picked up two old school wrestlers that just brought me back as soon as i saw them i had to get them it's Shawn michaels the heartbreak kid and kane um i still need to get like bret hart and i already have like triple h and um the warrior ultimate warrior and um who was the rowdy rowdy piper i mean there's just so many great um, wrestlers that they're bringing out, uh, Ric Flair, and um, I just saw now that they have the Million Dollar Man and uh, the Sheik, um, so I'm just loving this line, I'm loving this WWF line, bringing back those old school wrestlers, it's just, it's fantastic, and I love it, and it brings me back to my childhood, so um, let's go ahead and pop these open and see what they look like, all right, here they are, out of the box, so the first one up, Shawn Michaels, man, this guy definitely brings back memories. I remember when Shawn Michaels was a part of the Rockers and his partner was uh, Marty Jannetty and um, they were like one of the coolest uh, partners ever, like uh, tag team partners. He has that old school 80s like mullet haircut, which is awesome. Um, it has like his signature like spandex um, that he used to wear and then like his boots um, and then the gloves. I mean, this is straight 80s out of the 80s. This is the legit Shawn Michaels, like the way I remember him. And then like his special move was the sweet chin music when he would do like that spinning back kick, like to the face. I mean, he was in so many great, um, uh, like wrestling matches with like Bret Hart and Yokozuma and like Lex Luthor. And like, I mean, the list goes on. This guy is definitely iconic. And especially when he was with the Rockers, like that was one of my favorite like tag team uh, to watch. Like this guy was just awesome. Definitely Shawn Michaels. He's a mess, must pick up for me as far as old school wrestlers. Um, the next one is Kane. And then Kane was known for being like the half brother of um, Undertaker. And um, they did a really good job with his sculpt with the mask that he would wear. Even like the strap right there. And then, you know, like just like all the little rivets and his boots and even right there like his finishing move was the choke slam when he would like grab the the guy and like lift him up because he was he is like seven feet tall he would lift him up above his head and then just like choke slam him so that's definitely cool that they had him like in getting ready to do his like choke slam thing and um yeah just overall it's a really cool looking pop this is um definitely an old school one that i remember with the undertaker him and the undertaker were you know, like partners for a while is, you know, and I think he's still wrestling too. I don't really keep up too much with it now. Um, since it's been uh, turned over to WWE, I just kind of lost interest. It wasn't as authentic and nostalgic for me. So um, that one's okay. Um, it's just like I said, I really remember all those old school wrestlers like Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, and uh, Jake the Snake, and uh, Rick Rude. And I mean, the list goes on to Tonka and Ultimate Warrior and you know, Hulk Hogan, you know, all those old school guys. I hope they, they do a whole line where they bring back like a majority of those old school guys because I see that they're kind of doing like old school and new school. So, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. But um, I really like these old school wrestlers and um, I got a good handful of them now. A good start, you know, Rowdy Rowdy Piper and these two and um, Ultimate Warrior. So it's a pretty good start. I saw um, Andre the Giant. Um, I passed him up at Target when I went back. He was already sold. So anyways, guys, um, like I said, this was like my biggest childhood rem memory is like wrestling. And like when it was so like, it just was like more authentic, more real to me back then. Like now I can just, it totally is like way fake. Um, yeah. So I just, I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving this line. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, please like, share comment, subscribe, whatever you guys need to do. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me, you know, who are your old school wrestlers that you guys enjoyed watching and, 
And, uh, you know, are you liking these this line of, you know, the old school wrestlers that are bringing it back? You know, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, stay awesome.